Okay. Let's start. Right, so. Hello, all my YouTube community out there. How are you guys doing today? Now, I wanted to make this video because there's a piece of... There's one particular move on Android 21's moveset that isn't really used all that often. And it turns out it has some pretty, uh, pretty crazy applications. So hopefully by the end of this video, uh, you will understand the uses and uh, implement this move into your gameplay. The move that we're going to be talking about is 2 through 6. <laughs> EX Ball, as some people call it. Um, now this is a pretty interesting move. So for those of you who don't know about Android 21, um, she has a steal mechanic where she takes special moves depending on the opponent that she's playing against. So right now, you can see that I have four steals from a pink opponent. You would get this from a character like Kid Buu or like Frieza. Now, the interesting thing about EX Ball is that it spends all of the steals that you have stocked um, to increase, you know, damage, durability, advantage. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can use this for. So I just wanted to make a video um, kind of giving you guys some ideas and maybe you can come up with your, your own thing. Uh, by yourselves as well. So the first thing, right, we're gonna keep it really really simple We're gonna talk about um, advantage on block. So uh, Back in season two It used to be that EX ball would be minus two on block um, And then for every steal that you got it would increase your frame advantage So if you had at least one steal all of the EX balls would be uh, With the advantage increasing depending on the amount of steals that you have they have since changed that, and now EX Ball is always plus. It's always at least plus one, um, and the advantage increases depending on how far away you are from your opponent uh, with the bigger ones. The smaller one is always plus one. Uh, and then for each steal that you have, it goes up. It goes from plus one to plus five, plus 10, to plus 15, to plus 20. Um, and this this is really, really important because now EX Ball is a move that is, is very, very usable even when you don't have stocks. Um, and we'll ex I'll explain a little bit why uh, down the line. But just keep in mind that for every steal that you get, it increases your frame advantage by about 5, by 5 frames. Uh, except for, you know, the difference between no steal and one steal, 4 frames, but um, it's a really, really easy way to remember. So, <clears throat> what can we do with this? Well, there's quite a lot of things. Since, um, since we have access to solo plus frames, now this is one of the reasons that I believe that 21 is such a strong, uh, such a strong contender for anchor slot, uh, because she has access to this move for half a bar, which is like pretty insane. You'll see why I think it's insane um, down the line. Now this part, uh, I want to talk about like frame traps, right? There's a lot of different things that you can do whenever you have access to plus 10 on block, right? Or plus 11, or plus 12. So you can see from back here, even this, right? From all the way full screen, if I have two steals, because the ball grows as it moves across the screen, my frame advantage increases. So even from way back here, this is plus 20, which is uh, pretty insane, right? For two steals. I don't even have to have the four steals to get the plus 20. Uh, but mainly what you're gonna want to learn is uh, how to how to use EX ball in, in your frame traps and strings. Um, now one important thing to notice note is that they did uh, they changed the way EX ball kind of works with block strings. Uh, it used to be you could 5H into EX ball and this would jail, right? You could jail into your plus string. They've since changed that, right? So I'll demonstrate here. So if I do 5H ES ball, you can see this no longer gels. Right. <clears throat> so as it stands, only one currently has no way to jail into this move anymore. Because they have changed the way that it works. Now while that's the case, it's not really that big of a deal because of course. You know, if someone is mashing reflect on, you know, a single button into EX Ball, because you can't react to this up close, it's 16 frames, right? Um, that has pretty, pretty crazy implications on how we're going to approach them later on in the match. So if they're mashing after a single button, of course, we could always just not press EX Ball and then 2M them, and then they die, right? So I wouldn't worry too much about the fact that it doesn't jail. Um, out of in the entire Season 3, 
I've only had EX Ball reflected less than less than a handful of times, less than five times. Um, I've had EX Ball reflect, and I've pressed a lot of EX Ball. Trust me. Um, so don't worry too much about that. Um, what you should worry about is how to how to layer the mind games with your opponent uh, using this move. So, um, to put it simply, uh, zero steel and one steel EX Ball. Um, plus one and plus five respectively uh, it's very simple right you pretty much use them for like uh, for like restagger attempts right you can reset your string which is really important um, and and get your offense going again right it's when you have two steals or more is when things start getting really really ugly so since this is plus 10 on block for example I'm gonna set the computer to guard all and reversal jump Right? Since this is plus 10, this is now a viable jail. Right? You can see I have I have my settings here. So you, right? Even better. Um if you're if you delay just a little bit. Actually. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Thank you, Bardock. I was like, wait a second. Okay. okay. So this this is a very important thing. Mm -mm. EX ball, two steals, 2M, right? This is a one frame gap between the EX ball and the 2M. Because it's 11 frames, as you can see, EX ball leaves you plus 10 on block. So as long as you do it fast enough, this is a one frame gap. Um, and one frame gaps are really, really strong in this game. Uh, for example, if you've ever played Team Gohan, uh, I believe Team Gohan's auto combo into M legs is a one frame gap. Uh, and you see a lot of people get hit trying to do something after auto combo from Team Gohan. This is the exact same thing, just in a different way. One frame gap, if you try to do anything that is not reflect or a bust out level 3, you get hit. Um, you get hit for up backing, you get hit for pressing a button, you get hit for everything. This is really important because <clears throat> the range that it pushes your opponent to, right? Like you can see how far back this pushes. So even even if they were like trying to challenge or some some way, they wouldn't be able to, because tail is long, right? <laughs> there's not there's not a whole lot of things that you can do um, about 21 in this situation. And like I said, the advantage gets uh, increased as you're further back, as you give it time to grow. So like this is point blank ex ball, right? Let me uh let me stop him from jumping just to make sure. Dragon Ball's training mode is kind of weird sometimes uh, with how it chooses to show advantage. So here I'm clearly plus 10, right? But from back here, as I showed before, I'm plus 18, right? Uh, and from the mid range, right? The mid range, plus 12. Now, this is really, really important because. Uh, in case you didn't know, Android 21 has a full screen move that's 17 frames, right? This move is 17 frames no matter where you are on the screen, uh, which means if you press EX ball from long range, you can frame trap them with 3M even from full screen. And this catches a lot of people because they think that since they're full screen, they're safe to jump um, and they're safe to move. But this actually frame traps you even from all the way back here and even with only two steals. Um, it might take me a try or two to get this correct, but I'll try to demonstrate what that looks like. Right there. Very clear, right? Opponents at the guard all. That means that that 3M that hit them hit, the, hit his jump frames because this EX ball is about plus 15 or 16 from back here. Very, very, very important. Um, and like in a lot of cases, it's just going to be a free hit for you. <clears throat> so that's why that's why the two steel ex ball is like i would say two and four are the most significant um amounts uh if you're not counting zero steals of course <clears throat> because of this dynamic right it, it it sets up all of your frame trap game um and it's very very useful so if you have or if you're not using this move um in a neutral sense like this is uh, a very strong move and it's faster than most beams in the game as well uh, and it also has some, you know, some other implications as well, which I'll talk about right now. But um, let me just demonstrate uh, four steel EX ball really quick for block blocking purposes. So um, four steel EX ball, point blank, plus twenty. 
right? If he doesn't mash jump after. Okay, plus 20. All right, from back here, I think... I actually don't even know what the number is. Plus 30. Okay, now... This is insane. This, this is actually just insane. Um, <laughs> plus, plus 30 for half a bar all the way back here is pretty crazy. That means that if you're playing beam, um, let me see if... wonder if I can get this right. I wonder how many tries it'll take me to get this. This is a jail, right? A very easy jail as well. It's not that hard. Do you even have time to work in like an IED here? Well, um, I'm gonna have a mash 2H. See what happens here. <laughs> right? Easy overhead jail. Even from all the way back in. Of course, since we can jail the overhead, we can also jail the low if we want to. <clears throat> if you don't fake the high, of course. So that even counter hits, even if you do it late, right? You can delay to specifically catch them trying to move, but you can always take your jail, as I as I can say there. And that's pretty crazy, right? Like if you really think about it, um, the 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 amount of lockdown that you can get from full screen, and this ball is really hard to avoid. If you look at the hitbox on it, it's very large. <laughs> it's a very large hitbox. Um, it's so large that that most of the time, if people are trying to jump over it, unless they get a really clean jump over. It's going to make contact with your feet and it's going to jail you to the ground and you're going to take extra block stun on top of that um, because uh, you take extra, you take six frames of extra block stun whenever you air block a move in this game. So, And if you air block this, this is not this is not pretty. It's not going to be pretty for you. Um, so there's a lot of different things, right? Um, the last thing that I kind of want to demonstrate is um, kind of like block string purposes. So like... For example, some of you are playing Bardock B, right? Now, I don't play Bardock B, but some of you do. First, I want to show you that when you press <clears throat> when you press EX ball, um, this can actually frame trap a 2H uh, as well. Whenever you if you do an IED like that. So in the mid range, this is a, a very viable frame trap. A lot of people try to like guess 2H. And thankfully, our limbs are, are long enough to where we can we can counter hit and get a big punish off of things like that. So that's really important. Um, you can also set up like some pretty crazy mixes if you have high blocks. Um, now, it's a little awkward sometimes. So like if you do stuff like this, um, actually, right? This is a jail, right? Man, I did not play Bardock B. I apologize. Yeah, so clearly this is a jailed overhead. Jailed double overhead, right? Oh. Right. So that's a high low. Um that's a high low you can do off of EX ball plus high blocks in this. Now <clears throat> you can actually like scale um a cross up, right? But the problem is thanks to cross up protection, um this is not um, this is not something you really want to be doing because that that will get auto block uh, because you know it involves yours um, I would stick to the same side high lows um, you can I, I think it's it's probably possible to like delay long enough to where it does not jail so that you can break cross up protection uh, but it's actually really hard <laughs> uh, with these particular two uh, with with 21 Bardock B uh, it's really hard to delay the overhead long enough uh, so that you can get uh, an overhead that is not jail on the other side. Um, so, like like I said, most of the time I would just stick to the, I would stick to the same side. It's much more consistent, um, and people were just gonna get hit by it anyway. A lot of people don't think that you can double overhead from this range in the first place. Um, so, especially out of L's, so like you'll get a lot of hits that way uh, for sure, and you can do it with M as well. Uh, if you're afraid that they're going to be like crouching or whatever, uh, it's just completely. Um, so that's that's kind of like the the block string implications. Try to keep that as concise as possible. Let's move on to some of the uh, quirky things involving its durability. So uh, I'm going to need Goku. For this one. Mm -mm. 
though. I always love, I always love showing people this. It's always so much fun. I'm gonna take away all the steals for myself. Yeah. So, the X ball under normal circumstances is a beam. As you can see, clashing with Kamehameha, right? No steals. Okay. Now, it turns out that if you have at least one steal, so I'll give myself one steal, the durability goes up drastically. For the fact where you straight up beat beat. Now this is important because not only are you faster than most beams just naturally, the projectile speed is faster. You just straight up beat beams in neutral. Really important, which means you of course you'll also be key blasts. Um and it's uh it's really good. It's <laughs> this is really really strong. Um even more so, which is even funnier, if you have at least one steal. You actually, um, you beat, or you clash with, here, set him to LM, yeah. kind of hard to demonstrate, one steal, EX ball, completely clashes with a beam, with a, a super, level one super. This is the case for all level one super projectiles. One, at least one steal on EX ball will clash with level one super. Um, full clash, meaning that you will not you will not get hit um, as long as you press it early enough. If you press it too late, then there's like weird there's weird things where the like they interact oddly, and sometimes you'll get clipped. Uh, but if you press it early enough, um, this is a full clash as you can see, and this is half a bar EX ball versus a whole level one super. Now the durability does not go up from here. Um, regardless of whether you have one steal or you have four steals, uh, it will be level one super durability. It doesn't it doesn't go up to level threes. I wish it did. That would be sick. Um, but that is the most. That is the most that you get up to is, is um, matching level one super. So um, this 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 move as a as a neutral move, right? Um, the fact that you can beat beams in neutral. Uh, very fast and we can set up like pretty much full screen frame traps off of it means that this is like one of the better beam options in the game to go for it not a it's not a true beam of course because it's 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 a ball instead of a beam but um it has like a lot lot heavier uses um than most most characters do with beams so um definitely definitely keep that in mind uh, it's really 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 good it's pretty. It's kind of silly that it clashes with level one beams. Like I don't. I don't know why it does that, but we kind of uh, we take those. We take those. Okay. So uh, now we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about damage, and this is a lot of people have fun talking about damage, right? We love to see high damage numbers. Um, so I have a ton. I have a ton of recordings for you guys. I actually I actually have a full slot of recordings here. Um, and we're going to be talking about if you add EX ball into your combos, right? Or, um, yeah, just into your combos in general, how much damage can we, can we increase our, our BMBs by? Now, this is a huge deal. Absolutely. But first, let me get my order correct here because the recording, the recordings have, uh, Bardock in the second slot instead of the first slot. Okay. So, first thing we're going to talk about in terms of combo routes. Sorry, I have my, my notepad over here. <laughs> Don't worry, I see all of you in chat. I just you know, want to make sure I'm, I'm paying enough attention to my, my YouTube. Button. Just bear with me. Alright, so we're going to talk about Enders first. Right. So, um, a lot of people are playing... So I'm going to use Matoi's team for for this for this demonstration, just because it's a more standard uh, more standard Android 21 team comp. Like my team is pretty irregular. I, I play Frieza Bard I play Bardock Frieza 21. Um, so the assists are a little bit irregular. Like most people aren't playing assists like that. Um, so I think Beam is like pretty standard to play with her. So that's why I chose this team to do the demonstration with uh, instead. So the first we're going to talk about using EX Ball 
uh, as, a, as a combo ender, right? Um, so most of the time, her combo structure, the way that it works is you do your air series and then you dive them and you call your beam and then you drag and rush and then you end with a command grab, right? So I'll show you guys what that looks like really quick. Slot one, play button, so. blocking, not blocking, Give ourselves enough meter to do everything we need to do. So this is a, a standard BMB that I myself would be uh, that I myself would do. Right? Knock down, call the beam, and we end with this deal, right? So we get 3903, right? So keep that in mind, chat. Keep that in mind. To anyone watching, show it to you one more time. That's not the person that one killed. So 39.03, right? We end with the 214S command grab. Uh, we get our steal. Combo's over. We can choose the dump supers. All right. Now, what I'm going to show you here is, is going to be pretty crazy. Like, you, you're, I don't think you're really ready for how much of a difference it will make. Um, so it turns out, for each steal that you add, um, so if you, end the, if you end the combo with uh, post-Dragon Rush, EX ball instead of the command grab, uh, your damage goes up dramatically. So with one steal, it goes up 50. With two, it goes up 120. With three, it goes up 190. And with four, it goes up 260. Um, and though so I will show you what it looks like to cash out with the EX ball as your combo ender instead of the command grab. The exact same combo route, only difference is the end. Oh, I actually didn't give her the steals. My bad. <laughs> Imagine. All right, let's try that again. Okay. Now, before the command grab at the end, right, the damage number was 41 3 which, if you do the math, oof, right? It's 260 damage more than ending with the 214S. And that 260 damage is not a small enough. And what's more, as I'm showing you with this particular route, is that if you end a, if you end a combo with EX Ball, you can actually add a 214S afterwards. It has enough hits then. So you can see I spend the EX ball and I get the command grab, which means that my ender damage goes up by 350. 350 extra damage for a half a bar. This is essentially having a level two um, at this point, right? These damage numbers are not small. Uh, and and it's actually, it gets more interesting from this. So this is out of L starters. Um, a very interesting thing that I noticed in my testing was that um, EX Ball, its damage value as a combo ender actually is determined by your starter just point blank. It doesn't matter if you're if you're fully scaled or not. Um, the scaling damage values on EX Ball are determined by strictly what button did you start the combo with. So, for example, um, like I said, if you do full BNB with an L starter and then you cash out with EX Ball plus a command grab, you get 350 extra damage than you would off of just doing a standard command grab ender. Yes, 350 damage. Okay, now let's see that same thing, right? Let's let's try a BMB with an M starter, right? Instead of an L starter. We will see that these damage values are actually not scaling the same way. Uh, that is the wrong slot, my friend. There we go. <laughs> So this is no steel M starter. Okay, 
So, end of the combo, 5,543 damage. 5,543. Okay, keep that number in mind, like I said. 5,543. Now, this is the recording with Force Steel, Ender. Force Steel, Ender, plus the Command Grab. At the oh. Ah, I almost, I almost chopped myself. That was close. I almost forgot to give her the steals. <laughs> Okay, suddenly that 5543, that 5543 turns into 6068 damage. This is not a small amount of damage, as I said before. So, with the L starters, right, we get 350 damage for ending the combo with 4 stock ES, EX ball plus the command grab ending. But with M starters, we actually get 525 extra damage for ending with EX Ball into 214S. So that means... <laughs> that means... That even though both combos were at max hits than the K at the end, the, the damage value of an EX Ball Ender is strictly determined by your, your combo starter. Strictly. Uh, and for those of you who are wondering, you might be wondering, like, what about H starter? H starters are exactly the same as M starter uh, damage values, right? Um, so if you do if you do a, a full scaled H combo, uh, an H H button starter, um, the damage values scale up the same exact one as M starters, so up to 525 extra damage. Absolutely insane, and and. Um, we're gonna be getting into some more some more complicated routes, right? But I would say that if you're looking to just implement the the move, if you're not used to using the move, and you're just looking to implement it into your gameplay, um, this is a great place to start. Just using it as the as the uh, as a combo ender. Just using it as a combo ender is a great place to start. It gives you a ton of damage. You don't sacrifice your meter gain, right? Because um, at the end of the combo, you're not gaining any meter anyway. Whereas some of the routes I'm going to show you, some of the routes I'm going to show you now are you're going to sacrifice meter gain for damage uh, because we're going to use EX Ball earlier in the combo. And for those of you who don't know, when you use an EX move in your combo, most EX moves in your combo, um, you sacrifice meter gain. You don't gain any meter for the rest of uh, the rest of the combo. So. Let's see what that looks like. And 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 just just so I so I'm very thorough. Uh, I have all of this written down on a notepad. I will paste I will paste all of the damage values um, in the description for those of you who just want to use it as a reference or, or write it down because it might be hard to keep track of. Just but yeah. Um, for the for the purpose of time and, and redundancy, uh, I just wanted to show no steals and then full stock uh, to just demonstrate the difference between just how much damage you're. You're, you're getting off of, of an ender. Okay, so next we're gonna be talking about uh, the, her corner extensions. Now I have to really not get my slots incorrect for this one, <laughs> so bear with me. So we need to go to slot five uh, and we need no steals for this. Okay, so here we go. This is a two assist route, I believe. Do a sister out, um, and ending with uh, this is just a standard. This is just a standard to a sister. Oh, that was awful. Sorry, sorry, people. <laughs> uh, I have to switch. Oh, wait, I can just do it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Standard two assist route. Um, two assist route ends with command grab, right? We get six thousand and eight damage out of this. Okay. 
and show it to you guys one more time. We gain a little bit over two bars, right? Very nice. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a route where we, instead of, of, of just straight up doing our, our route, we implement EX Ball as a combo extender. Now, it's very important to note that a lot of these routes that I'm gonna show you are only going to be possible with three and four steel EX Ball. For when, when you get forced the fourth steel, um, the hit stun of the EX Ball goes up dramatically, like super, super dramatically. Uh, which is the reason that we can end our combos with four steel ex ball into 214s you can't do that with any other amount of steals you can't do it with three or two you can't can't do it um because the hit stun the hit stun goes up dramatically whenever you get that fourth steal so some of these routes i'm going to show you just for the purpose of education are only going to be possible with four steals i just want you to keep you guys to keep that in mind okay just moving forward um there are some other extensions that you can do with some of the lower ones, with the, with some you know less less amount of steals in your stats. Um, but for education purposes, I just want to show you guys uh, what some of the four steal extensions. Are. So give ourselves the full stock here. Do I need everything? All oh, right. Okay. So this. Is also an M starter. This is an M starter uh, route with two assists, but this time we use EX Ball in our combo. Uh, instead of uh, instead of not right. Okay, so here we go. So, suddenly our 6,008 damage goes up to 6,500, 6, 6,515, which means we get a 507 damage increase for choosing to spend EX Ball early in the combo, instead of using it, instead of, instead of not using it, right? It's also worth noting, on top of all this, you might notice that this combo is pretty long, right? So it turns out <clears throat> that four steel EX Ball not only dramatically increases the hit stun, but it also has no significant effect on your hit stun decay in your combo. Meaning that if you add four steel EX Ball into your combo, you don't lose like any combo like you don't you don't lose it you don't lose any time on your combo timer timer at least no significant time on your combo timer so even though you know i do a whole ground series here i spent ex ball i still have time to do a full extended air series with jh's as well so that's the real indicator right ever since they nerfed ever since they nerfed the JH from 21, they slowed it down and makes it pretty much unusable at the end of long combos because they'll just fall out, right? But as you can see with this particular route, even though I've done a full extension here, I call my assist, I still can link a JH there. So if that is not if that is not indication enough of how little effect EX Ball has on your combo timer, um, that's really, really important for squeezing out the, the absolute most damage we possibly can. Uh, and we get an increase of 507 damage off of it. Um, and it is worth noting, on top of that, if you choose to spend EX Ball, I'll try to I'll try to do a route for you guys real quick. Actually, do I want to show that? Nah, I'll show it. I'll show it. So like, if you do stuff like this, not that. You can also choose to spend another EX, right? and it does work. It does work. You will. It won't fall out in those cases. So you can choose to spend another EX if you, especially, especially good if you have gained a steal 
Um, if so, if you decide to do command grab at the top of your route, uh, if you decide to do a command grab at the top of your route and then do dive into assist to end with Dragon Rush, um, you will have one steal in your slot and you can spend another EX ball if you would like to. But it is half a bar, um, so most of the time it's not going to be worth it to spend that, that extra half a bar on the combo. Um, you would rather just dump out with supers, but it is something that is, that is, um, that, that is possible. <clears throat> what is the combo with it at the end? Well, um, it's, it's complicated. <laughs> there, there is some, so the, the amount of damage difference between spending it as an ender and spending it as a, a combo with, like, spending it in the middle of your route, um, there is a difference. Spending it in your combo is more damage um, rather than using it as an ender. That's why I went over enders first and I'm going over uh, extensions now. In an overwhelming majority of cases, spending it uh, in the middle of your combo is just m more damage uh, by a few hundred. Usually a difference of between one and 300 damage depending on how optimized your route is. But of course, like I said, if you choose to do this route, right? If you choose to do the routes that I'm showing you now, you lose meter gain. So that last route that I showed you with two assists, you gain two bars. And for this route, you end up spending a half a bar, right? Instead of gaining two, which is significant, right? Meaning that most of the time, if you're going to be using this, it's going to be when you have higher meter value, uh, most of the time. Uh, now there are times where you, we can use it when you don't have a ton of meter, just a nuka character, and that is definitely viable. Uh, but you do need to think about like, okay, I'm sacrificing my meter gain. You know, I'm sacrificing my meter gain to blow their character up, pretty much. <laughs> That's what you're doing. I would equate this the way the the way that I would I would think about this. Think about Super Broly uh, when he spends EX Ground Pound, right? When Super Broly like gets an M starter his starter and he spends EX ground pound early in this combo your health bar explodes right it's the same thing it's it's the same principle you're spending ex ball early in the combo which means you sacrifice your meter gain but the damage that you get in return um in a lot of cases is going to be worth it uh and it yeah it does severely impact your your blue life as well which is important okay so now that i've showed you that we're going to talk about some of uh so this were these were corner extensions so now we're going to show you the mid screen so uh, what I have is, wonder if I can replicate, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it manually, question mark, and see, uh, see how that works out for me. <laughs> Hopefully I end up doing the same combo that I did last night. I, I don't have enough recording slots to like, you know, put everything on there, so bear with me. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. This is, let me take the steals off. This is, this is the right route. Okay. First try, boys. We did it. Okay. So. Oops. Of course, I mess it up right after. So, this is back to corner, right? Back to corner, 2LL starter, um, re jump route, 2 assist expended, ends with 2 and 4S, 4098 damage, uh, and full corner carry, right? <clears throat> this is a standard, this is just a standard combo out of, out of lights, um, re jump, standard combo under, 4098 damage, okay. Keep that number in mind. Now I'm going to show you what happens if you decide to spend EX Ball early in your combo instead of instead of ending with Command Grab, right? Um, well, actually, you can still end with Command Grab afterwards. You don't sacrifice. But we spend EX Ball to increase our damage here. So, let's see what that looks like. I have to put... Okay. 
Now, because we spend EX Ball early in the combo, we don't lose anything on our combo timer, which lets us extend even further. So we get an extra 407 damage for burning EX Ball off of the 5H. And, and this is a very realistic confirm as well, right? As you can see, where I press EX Ball is after I've already confirmed into my 5H, right? So it's not like it's an unrealistic hit confirm to do, you know, a, a, a prorated starter into EX Ball. Very realistic for all of you. Now, let's talk about that conversion, right? You will find that if you try to do this at home, that you might have a little bit of a hard time getting this JM to win. So, allow me to explain. This is a buffered dash into super jump JM. That is what it is. So that means, while the EX ball is coming out. You're already tapping forward. You're tapping forward twice to buffer your dash so you get it frame one uh, as soon as you're actionable afterwards because you obviously can't move while the EX ball is going on, right? Um, so you want to buffer your dash out of this EX ball. And then once you've done that, uh, once you get what you're, you're going to have to practice this. This is going to take practice. It took me practice. I was not able to do this at all at first. Um, now I'm pretty consistent at it. This, once you practice getting your dash as fast as possible, just want to get a feel for your spacing from your opponent um, and, you know, super jump JM to link the combo. And since we have dash momentum, we can do a JM, JH route, continue, so on and so forth. So very, very good. But like I said, we'll take practice. Now, like I said, out of an L starter, this gives us 407 extra damage. Um, now let's check it out of an M starter. This is, like I said, this is, this is for mid-screen routes. Now let's see if I let's see if I guess right again. Oh, rip! <laughs> I didn't take the steals off of myself. My mistake. Hate to see. And uh, if any of you are wondering what the song is, it's called Sanctuary in the Glades from uh, Ori 2. Okay, so off an M starter, two assists. 5713. <clears throat> it's not a completely super optimized route. Okay, relax. I, I get it. Just trying to teach something. Okay, 5713, right? Okay, now let's look at what this looks like when we spend EX Ball in our combo instead. Uh, and I don't think I have a recording, so I'm gonna have to do it manually. <laughs> now, this right here, chat, is why we have editing. So very similar route, but now I get 6385, and, and without EX Ball, I was getting 5713, which means it is a 672 damage increase for spending EX Ball here, <clears throat> which is very, very, very significant. I think we can all agree that 670 damage on top of your combo is no small amount, right? No small amount at all. So. This should give you an idea of the, the trade-offs, right? The, the trade-offs for, for using EX Ball in, in the middle of your combos um, and as your enders. Uh, you sacrifice meter gain, like I said. Keep that in mind. You sacrifice meter gain. But the damage trade-off is huge. Um, almost 700 damage off an M starter. Uh, 400 damage on top of an L starter is also very, very good. So you really, really want to keep and, and keep in mind this option. It's really, really, really good. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of cases, especially when you're solo, right? Um, like the trade-off, the the trade-off becomes m much clearer when you're solo, right? Um, because suddenly your, you know, your 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 routes where you're you're ending with level three in the air 
might look a little different because if you spend that half a bar you're getting tons more damage like an insane amount uh, more damage so um and like i said some of these routes will will, will vary depending on the assist that you guys are playing um so you get to training mode see what extensions you can get with your particular team um and and go from there uh and and, and you'll 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 be maximizing your damage numbers it, it pains me that that not many there's not many 21s really using this option as much as they as they could or or i mean should is a strong word right it's different differing philosophies depending on our combo routes but um this is obviously very strong i don't think anyone could could really argue with me that that this is a, a very very strong option so just keep that in mind moving forward yeah so the last part of this video is just kind of fun stuff um i'm going to show you guys a few things um i don't know if i can't remember which route i did for this. i'm going to show you uh, a sparking list todd And there's some caveats uh, with with how we with how we go about things like this. Well, um, I gotta remember which route route today. <laughs> I don't. I actually don't remember. I don't remember which route that I did, and I don't remember how much meter. So I'm just gonna give myself max meter, um, and we'll see how much I have afterward in terms of what. We I think my starter was. Um, <clears throat> This is the starter I chose. Mm -mm. So we'll we'll start with this route and see where we're going from there. So no, that's not quite that's not quite what I need. <laughs> Almost. I don't think this is right either. <laughs> I, have a, I have a lot of routes, so <laughs> it's really easy to get them mixed up. I'm pretty sure that I do this route. And my ender just changes. Right, so pretty pretty easy to do route. Um, no sparking required. You'll kill them. Um, however, of course, since we're burning ex balls so early in the combo, you don't gain meter on this, which makes this a very very like very edge case scenario that you're gonna that you're gonna m starter someone with this much meter uh, available and the ex available, which is why. I'm going to show you guys some alternatives as well on top of this that don't involve EX Ball uh, just because, just because I care. Um, but as you can see, that route that I did was not complicated at all. Uh, and they just died, right? They just kind of exploded. And it's fun to do. So <clears throat> I just wanted to show that really quick. Um, and there's, there's like mid screen routes that you can do out of M starters as well that will very easy, very, very easily sparking this Todd. Um, you're just gonna need the meter, right? Is the is the biggest determining factor. So, um, like I said, depending on what assist you what assist you have, what resources you have available to you, um, just lob out the routes, see where you can go. Now, okay. Like I said, since you spend ex ball on on that route that I just showed you guys, it makes it a six point five, a uh, six point five bar Todd, right? Might be like, well. Maybe that's not what I want to do, right? Even though it's sparking list, it's still it's still a lot, right? It's it's conditions to fulfill. You need to have the meter and you need to have the force. Now, no one else is gonna tell you this, because <laughs> it's actually something that that I'm pretty sure I I'm pretty sure I'm the one that discovered this. Um, at least no one else no one else uh, brought it up. So you can actually um, sparking list Todd with any four steals right with any full stack now i'm going to be focusing on the consistent full stacks if you have four steals but they're of different colors your routes are going to change uh pretty heavily right so i'm going to keep it i'm going to keep this to just the, the consistent 
same color full stacks just because that's the most common scenario since we get full stack out of level three right so let's let's show you guys this so we're gonna start with blue uh and i'm, I'm gonna show you all four stacks uh and i know for a fact that at least one of them is gonna take me a few tries so yeah so these are five bar these are five bar sparking list pods uh and yeah so let's see let's ah, i messed up somewhere <laughs> shout out to 9999 damage by the way <laughs> whoopsies <laughs> i think i didn't let one of the uh one of the beam hits drop that's what it was There we go. So that's the blue route. It's also worth noting, very, very important. If you're going to be spending EX Ball as a combo ender, like I did there, right? If you're going to be spending EX Ball as a combo ender, be sure to let your hits rot before you before you super. Um, because there are situations where you will end your combo uh, and you won't get all of the hits because the super will cancel um, this, this, the super will cancel out some of the hits, so make sure you let all of them, let all of them rock before you, before you super, uh, at the end of long combos, because I've definitely lost damage myself, uh, mess, <laughs> messing up and not, uh, and, and not letting all the hits rock. So that was blue. Uh, let's show yellow. So yellow, you actually need a little bit less, 4.5 for yellow. Shout out to, uh, Key Blast Volley. Oh my god. I keep thinking that I need to be the other team. Oh. So, very, very similar route. <clears throat> uh, kills 4.5 bars, M starter. I uh, will show pink. Uh, actually, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to show them on normal sizes just so that you guys know what the up and up is. Okay, now this one, <clears throat> for the green, green stack route, you need to make sure that you vanish as soon as possible after you press 2 through success in the air. <clears throat> or else uh, you won't be high enough. Uh, so an issue with doing a uh, command grab into dive uh, into beam assist is if you're not high enough, um, they'll actually fall out of the combo before they, they get knocked into the So very important that you vanish as soon as possible uh, whenever whenever you let this uh, 2 through success hit. Um. Once again, they are dead. Okay, and then last and show the pink stack. And they are dead yet again. So, instead of burning, if you're going, if your goal is to kill someone, um, in this particular situation where you get an M starter in the corner and you want to kill without spark, it is better for you to do these routes than to do the EX ball route because they're less meter dependent. All of the full stack uh, sparking list ties that I showed you are all five bars instead of six bars uh, that you would need with an EX ball starter. Um, except for yellow stack, if you have yellow stack, it's only 4.5 bars uh, for a sparkless Todd out of an M start. So, um, very, very valuable. 
uh, much more valuable than using EX in, in those situations. If you want to learn those routes, feel free. Um, you will find that uh, the route the route that I'm choosing in particular uh, is pretty finicky on smalls. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, this, uh, this, this route has always been kind of weird. Uh, this um, this re 5 l 5 h very cons it's very consistent on normal sizes and some smalls but some some smalls are just very very odd with it so definitely uh like i said depending on what assists you have what enders you have available to you take it to training mode uh and see see how you can adapt the route search now the last thing right this is the last thing that i want to show uh it's just something really really funny um and i've showed this to people on my stream a lot already so if you're new this is going to be a treat um, and this is another thing that uh, myself and Demus, uh, who is is one of the one of my one of my longtime viewers, um, we found this just messing around in training mode one day. Uh, and it's not it's not the most practical thing, um, but you can you can glean practicality from it uh, if that makes sense. So let's show you guys what this looks like. Uh, so we're gonna need to be solo, right? Now shoutouts. <laughs> Shout out to our uh, to our, our wannabe tech lords out there on Twitter who are out there posting, you know, pre spark M starter Todds, right? This is a pre spark route, but it's so fun that I figured I would show it anyway. Ah, there's no Rip Crabble. He did it to himself. So this is a solo time. Uh, and, and the funniest thing about this route is just how much damage 5H into EX Ball does. Even without Spark, right? Look at their health bar. Look at <laughs> this is a this is a 2,000 damage. <laughs> this is a 2,000 damage EX Ball. Actually, more. 2.9. It's almost 3k. 2.9 thousand damage <laughs> off of off of five off of this this ex ball after five h. So <clears throat> while I may showed you, I've showed you a route that was you know pre spark limit break, right? But that's not the point. Um, the point is. That if you find yourself early in combos going into 5H, if you find yourself going into 5H early um, in your combos, it can be worth it, even with assists, right? But like if I get if I get a hit, let's say I hit someone with like Reflect 5H, and I spend EX, even though I'm not in Limit Break, I still have my assist, right? Oh, I saw Bardock B on. I was like, bro, my whole life was like, <laughs> wait, I was like, wait a second. Right, very easy route after the EX. And I get I get 6.2. Right? So like the point isn't the the you know the the solo limit break sparky pre-spark Todd. It's the, the point is is that spending EX ball early in your combos gives you huge returns uh, in terms of damage. So that is what I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna put a lot of stuff in the description just so you guys uh, have all of the um, all of the info that I put that I went over in this video. Um, remember to follow me on Twitch. Uh, Twitch is where, the, the Twitch stream is where I found all of this stuff in the first place. So if you wanna tune into a lab stream or just me messing around in training mode, make sure you pull up to the streams. Uh, make sure you follow my other socials as well, Twitter, Instagram, those will all be down in the description. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And I wanna see you guys go out there and nuke some health bars. And if you do, right, if you do end up using some of this, uh, and you get a crazy kill because of it, I want you to record it and tag me on Twitter because I want to see them. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.